Hello everyone and blessed be. This is just a haul of things I've gotten recently. Some are kind of witchy. Um, but then again, I'm a witch, so I guess it's a witchy haul, right? <laughs> so the first one is area specific, but I got this. It's Pacific Northwest Medicinal Plants. And it's by Scott Kloos. And here's the back of the book. And I know you can get all this stuff online, but you know, sometimes it's just nice to hold a book in your hand. And I did not pay that much for it on Amazon. But um, what I really liked is this is, of course, it's very specific to an area where I live. But it gives a whole lot of information. Talks about wild crafting. Um, but it talks very pagan-like and um, talks about the energetic patterns of plants. Um, let's see. And it will also tell you in here if a plant grows too slow or is too rare and you should not harvest it. It also talks about toxic plants endangered threatened and sensitive species um so i love that it doesn't say just go out and yank up a bunch of stuff uh, because it's safe it really does take to into account how easy it is to regrow um and also talks about uh leaving offerings or thank yous so even though it doesn't say it's pagan it sure does seem pagan to me <laughs> whoops sorry so it'll tell you like how to identify where and when to wild harvest herbal preparations medicinal uses cautions and uh it will tell you too when they're toxic or poisonous Like this one says, um, as they age, the bark of the older roots in the center of the stand begins to rot. Using these roots for medicine is a wise and sustainable way to wildcraft. So I just love that they take that into account. And I just, I book-eared um, Ushnia because it's one that I have right out on my trees. And... I just wanted to make sure that I read all of that. It's also called Old Man's Beard. Again, preparations, tictures. And then at the back, it goes through everything. So it'll say the name of it, but you can also find like uh, reduced swelling. Can you see that? in here so you can look it up that way as well I'm really really excited about that I love that it is local or pretty local to me I live in the Pacific Northwest um, a lot of the books or, or things like that are things that are kind of far away and just a FYI I am melting um, let's see I am melting a wax over there I am melting the banana, pumpkin, vanilla, nutmeg, and spice by Sparkles. I am so sad that I only have one. And that's all that's left. I need more of this in my life. I keep checking her website. It is so good. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, let's see. Where can I put this? So then the next thing I got is I consider it witchy. <laughs> It's very large. I didn't realize. I mean, it had the dimensions on it, but I didn't check the dimensions. So I have a ton of tea. Um, th this can be altered for loose leaf tea, but that's not what's in here right now. I had for the um, pre-made tea bags. Ooh, hello. I had been using this and sorting them. I mean, it worked, but it only held so many. 
And then I also had to fill this ginormous glass jar with some of them. So this is made out of bamboo and it has no toxins or anything. It is, um, I don't know, rubbed down with, with olive oil, I believe it is. But inside, it holds so much. So this came with it, and I'm just kind of leaving it in here. And I'll put a link to these down below. And, uh, and this was in there. Um, and this is everything, well, it's even more, it, this right here <laughs> is everything that was in this little basket and that whole big glass jar. That's how much this thing holds, and I still got tons and tons of room. And what I like is I put the, if it comes from a box, I put the information in the front, so that I still have that throat coat is amazing I make my own but um, sometimes it's nice just to have one to grab singers use that but I use it during busy season at work when I am literally talking nine to ten hours straight in a day makes my throat hurt and these ones I just made them so the color separated them because they're just the green teas this is all green tea this is the um <clears throat> organic mushroom that i can't remember the name but i thought it was on here it's not and then over here this is sleepy time tea <laughs> and i just saved bits of the box but it came like I'll open it like this so they're not pre-sealed oh my god they smell so good mm. smell delicious and th this was still in the box so it was not counted in the things that I had in those before but it fits right in there and they do say the bamboo is only treated with the olive oil, so you're not getting any toxins or anything on that. You can also remove, you can see this, you can remove these and redo it so you have a bigger spot for anything. But I think if somebody said it holds 270 or something, I'm not sure. Now, it, again, it's not going to hold my bags, like I have some that are in bags, or um, my herbal ones. The herbal ones I usually make as needed, <clears throat> but this is fabulous. I'm absolutely loving it, and you're going to see my mess. But it, let's see. it matches my new bread box over there. <laughs> it's bamboo. Okay, now can I get the camera in the same spot? Doubt it. Okay. So anyhow, love, 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 love it. I'm going to move that out of the way. And then I got this. This is from Lone Star Botanicals. I got it off Etsy. It's eucalyptus leaf, but it's supposed to be whole leaf. And it's a half a pound. So it's a big one and it's resealable so let's see I really I wanted the whole leaf and I don't have the eucalyptus tree so they had a lot of places selling it and I do have can I even open this oh wait I do have the chopped up variety oh yeah but this right here is what I wanted. Look at that. Mm. So this is the whole leaves. Freaking love it. Um, and I wanted that because I'm doing that simmer on the stove thing. And you can dump dried 
crumbled leaves. That's what I did the last time I did it. But I just happened to see this and um, got really excited. Like I said, the bag reseals. That's a big one. And I have some... Uh, I have something else coming, another herb to go with this, but I'm spacing now. I'm going to just set this down. And then I did get some essential oils. Um, this is my favorite, favorite vendor for essential oils. And I love these containers that they send them in but I got more sweet orange just because I love it <laughs> and I use it a lot so I got a bigger one and then I got eucalyptus um, in the oil as well and then I got I thought this was just rosemary obviously I didn't know what I was clicking on but this is I'm gonna have to look that up This is that. I don't know. Um, mm. it smells good though. But I'm loving it. So of the ones I ordered, they all came separately. But these two came in these cute little cardboard boxes. And this one did not. And then for the last thing... This is actually for my kitty cat, but you know, hey. Um, I got this. This is an organic wheatgrass kit. That sounds silly, but she likes to go outside every now and then and eat the grass, which is fine when my son can go out there and watch her because if she sees a squirrel or something, she's running and I can't run. Um, but with the the fires and all the ash falling and everything being nasty I didn't want her eating well I didn't want her outside but I didn't want her eating that grass and she has a tendency to like to eat it underneath the back of my son's car and it's like the exhaust is right there plus it was just cute you know there, there's all those different reasons but I just thought it would be fun to do so, um, you can Google why cats eat grass, what it does for them, but basically they can't really digest it, but they eat it on purpose to, um, let's see which way, they eat it on purpose to help cleanse their tummy, like if their tummy's upset or if they want to get some assistance with hairballs. She does get hairball treats, but when she goes out there, she likes grass. So, so it comes with this very, very plasticky, but you know, it'll work squirt bottle to mist it. Um, and I saw the picture of that. I knew it was going to be like that. And these are supposed to be the seed pods, the dirt. So that'll be interesting. And then, um, so it's going to look like that afterwards, unless she goes digging in it. Isn't that cute? I love it. So it comes in this wooden base. It does have this plastic liner in here, um, just so the water doesn't go everywhere. And it's very flimsy but it's supposed to be it's not supposed to be deep and then it comes with certified organic wheatgrass seeds and this is supposed to be two batches worth so I'm guessing I gotta read the instructions on how to grow these things so I placed the fiber soil wafer oh I have to place it in something else, fluff it up, and then put it all in here. And then sprinkle the seeds. So anyhow, um, I can leave a link to this 
if you're interested. I know there's cheaper ways to do it. I know you can um, just go cut the grass and rinse it. I was not comfortable with that, just given the situation. But bottom line, I thought it was cute. So, I know there's many different options, many different ways, but I thought this was just freaking cute. So, hopefully it works. And I just wanted to share that with you. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I hope everybody's safe. And blessed be.